Ta-da! Told you, he's dressed as Humpty Dumpty. Why is old elf? Why are you dressed as an egg? Chickens like to look after their eggs. So, if they see one floating across the water, they'll follow it. I'm an egg. Come in, chickens. The water's lovely and warm. I'm an egg. They're following the egg. I'm an egg. I'm an egg. That has to be one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. I'm an egg. I'm an egg. I'm an egg. I'm an egg. You see, it's all quite simple when you're an old cow hand like me. <gasps> oh, what's the matter? Haven't you ever seen a cowboy in his underpants before? Wow, the chickens really like picking up flowers. They're eating machines, leaving nothing but mud. Yes, are you sure the king said he wants chickens at the little castle? That's what Daddy said. I want chickens at the little castle. Very well then, saddle up. Chickens ride west, chickens ride west. Wagons are a-rolling, west we are going. We're in the Badlands. Badlands? It's the meadow. We'll stop here for the night. Get the wagons in a circle. Let's keep these chickens safe. Ah, sleeping outdoors with a campfire. Life doesn't get better than this. Unless you're home in bed, watching television. Talking of home, we'd better phone the king. Hello? Hello, King Thistle. We're almost there, but we need to camp out for the night. Wow! How long can it take to deliver one egg? Don't worry, Daddy. You'll have your chicken by the morning. My chicken? What does Holly mean by that? Pid. Ta-da! As you see, I am dressed as a pie. Why are you dressed as a pie? Gnomes love pie more than anything in the world. So, every time Mr Gnome is about to eat a blackberry, I will run in front of him dressed as a pie. Won't that be dangerous? Yes, very. That's why it's plan B. This time, I promise I'm not going to eat it. Ooh, look at that. <coughs> Silly me, I did it again. Focus, Mr Gnome. Right, this is it. No more. Oh, a blackberry! Hey there, Mr. Gnome! Look over here! I'm a pie! Oh, a pie! Oh, sorry. Thought I saw a pie. Never mind. Here's a lovely blackberry for me. Hey, wouldn't you rather eat a pie? Oh, yes, I would. Delicious pie! Don't eat me! Oh, a talking pie! That'll be tasty! I'm not a pie! I'm not a pie! Not a pie? What are you then? I'm the wise old elf! Oh, what are you doing here? Let's put you down again. Oh, look! A blackberry! Oh, here we go again. Hey there, Mr. Gnome! Look down here! I'm a pie! Oh, a pie! Oh, this is going to be a long afternoon. Where on earth can they be? It's been ages. And we can't start the harvest dance without them. Well, it looks like we can't have a dance then. Aww. <laughs> Here we are with a fruit harvest. Blackberries. What happened to the strawberries? The gnome ate them. The... Ta-da! Told you. He's dressed as a bee. Yes, so if the bees do wake up, they'll think I'm a bee and not sting me. You're fail-safe. Yes, Ben. Now I simply fly into the hive. But you can't fly. That's where the elf helicopter comes in. Lift me up. Lifting. Bees asleep. Check. 
bee costume on. Check. Jar for honey. Check. Go, go, go. Now, watch a beekeeper at work. Calm, safe and sensible. I'm a bee. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Lower me in. I'm inside. Take me down. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Oh, all this for a jar of honey. Yes, it's very exciting. Too far. Up a bit. Now left a bit. The bees will wake up soon if he doesn't get a move on. I'm in position. Quick, wise old elf. <laughs> the bees are waking up. Come on, wise old elf. Hurry up. There we are. Done. Calm, safe and sensible. Eh? Ah, nice bees. Uh, just borrowing a bit of honey. Um, I'm a bee. Buzz, buzz. Pull me up! Buzz, buzz, buzz! Pull me up! Mission accomplished! Calm, safe and sensible. What are those bees doing, Nanny? They seem to be following him. Ah! Bee swarm! Get me out of here! Look! There's... Oh, it's very clever. Is it really clever? No, it's stupid. But funny. Ta-da! Here we are. Squeak! Uh, why is the wise old elf dressed as a squirrel? Because squirrels copy other squirrels. Now, if I move an acorn, all the other squirrels will copy me and move their acorns too. But don't the squirrels need to store their acorns for the winter? Ha-ha, <laughs> yes. That's why I'll lead them to the dry, hollow log on the top of the big hill. Your costume looks very heavy. Uh, yes, but it's perfectly balanced by the tail. Ready for checks? Ready! Tail. Check. Acorn. Check. Squirrels watching? Check. Go, go, go! Squeak, squeak, squeak! We'll see you at the hollow log, wise old elf! <laughs> squeak! <laughs> squeak! I hope the wise old elf will be all right. Squeak! Oh, oh, oh. Squeak! <laughs> <laughs> squeak! Squeak! <laughs> oh, oh, good. Almost there. Oh, no! The tail has fallen off. Oh, I'm out of control. I can't stop. Oh, oh, oh! oh I love autumn. It's a pity I missed Acorn Day. Ah! Oh! Oof! I say, an acorn! How charming! Your Majesty! Throw the acorn away! How do you change yourself into a mouse? I put these ears on and this nose, then I... Um was it a good idea putting the toddlers in the library? What? It's the same room you put all the wands in. Ah. <laughs> Don't worry. The great wizardo will sort this out. I'll show them my mouse trick. That will surprise them. They'll be surprised how bad it is. So it might work. Look, children. I've turned myself into a... Mousey, mousey. Squeak! Wow, that's not a bad costume. Uh, the toddlers have magic the wise old elf into a real mouse. Squeak! <laughs>
Can someone please magic me back into an elf? No, we can't do any magic because somebody put all the wands in the library. Ah, yes. Squeak! Ahoy, me hearties! I'm here to pick up my niece, Meryl. Oh, uh, actually, the party's not quite over yet. <laughs> no? The toddlers are in the library with the dangerous spell books. They've got all the magic wands. And they've magicked the wise old elf into a mouse. Squeak! Sounds like a fun party. Oh, no, it's gone quiet. They're up to something. Let's take a look. Hello? Hello? There's no one here. Just our wands. Oh, it's good to have you back again. Uh, Nanny, now you have your wand again, would you mind, um... Of course, oh great wizardo. Silly old elf, back to yourself. Oh, so where be the poor little toddlers? I was afraid of this. Daisy and Poppy have found the secret passageway. Ooh. Where does the secret passageway go? To the secret room. <laughs> What's this for? There's no air in space. You'll have to wear a spacesuit. But we can just use magic to breathe. No, magic is not allowed aboard the elf rocket. You will have to leave your wands behind. <sighs> OK. Astronauts aboard the rocket! Queen Sissel, would you please come with me to the mission control room? Ooh! Systems check. Engines ready. Engines are go. Computers ready. Computers online. Fuel system ready. Fuel systems A OK. Start the countdown. Ten. I want to wish you all the best of luck. You are going where no elf has gone before. Oh, fairy. Oh, oh fairy. Oh, sorry, Holly. You are going where no elf or fairy has gone before. Is everyone ready? All ready and a okay, wise old elf. Zero. Here we go. Next up, the moon. Blast off. Systems go! Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Into space! It actually worked. I wasn't expecting that. We are now out of Earth's atmosphere. We can take off our seatbelts. Whoa! That's because there's no gravity in space. I'm flapping my wings, but they don't do anything. Yes, your wings won't work in zero gravity. <coughs> Are you sure there isn't a toilet? What's through this door? No! Don't open that door! <coughs> First, we need something to turn into shoes. Lemons? No, they need to be shoe-shaped. Ah! Oh, carrots! Now we need something round and juicy for the jacket. A lemon? No, a tomato. Hmm, what can we use for the crown? Ah, oh, Holly, you remember King and Queen Marigold? Hello, Hello Princess, Princess Holly. Holly. Hello, and this is my best friend, Ben Elf. Hello, Ben. I must say, your clothes are quite, um, charming. Yes. Nice and, uh, sensible. Oh, is it the country look? Uh, I think the way one dresses is very important. My husband won't be a moment. He's just changing into his new clothes. New clothes? That sounds interesting. Uh, well, it is an experiment. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, that's fantastic. Outstanding. Oh. Really? Well, the jacket feels a bit soggy, actually. It looks wonderful. So fresh and exciting. Oh. 
We were just saying how important it is to think carefully about what you wear. Oh, I don't think I think at all. Huh. Oh, I say. Oh, what's that? Yes, I was worried that might happen. Tricky things, magic clothes. <laughs> Silly Daddy, you've got a lemon on your head. This is nothing to do with me. My wife chose it. That is amazing. Awesome. I've never seen anything like it. Absolute genius. Self-transforming clothes? I would never have thought of that. How can we hide Mrs. Witch? She's huge! Maybe she could pretend she's not a witch. Good idea, Ben. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Witch. Listen, uh, there's no time to explain, but you have to pretend you're not a witch. OK. Who am I, then? You're just a nice old lady. OK. Here they come! Remember, you're just a nice old lady who wouldn't hurt a fly. OK. Hello. I'm not a witch. I'm just a nice old lady who wouldn't hurt a fly. Well, I'm, uh, pleased to hear it. My name is Miss Cookie. I'm Mrs Witch. Your name is Mrs Witch? Uh, yes, but I'm not a witch. I'm just a nice old lady who wouldn't eat a fly. Uh, that's good. Can you tell us the way to the lake? Yes. Straight down the path and through the trees. You can't miss it. Is that a witch's hat you're wearing? Yes, but I'm not a witch. But you are called Mrs Witch. Yes, and you're called Miss Cookie. But you're not a biscuit. Talking of cookies, if anyone would like a snack, take a roof tile. They're gingerbread, you know. Thanks, Mrs Witch. Bye! Bye! <laughs> they never suspected a thing. But now they're going to the lake. And that's where Redbeard the elf pirate sails his boat. We have to warn him. Hello? Redbeard the elf pirate speaking. Listen carefully. Big people are coming your way. <laughs> I hear them, and I've no time to hide! Pretend to be a toy. Okie dokie, I'm a toy! Here's the lake. I found a toy boat. There's a doll on it. Oh, that's Redbeard. Who... Now, let's mix all the ingredients. Blackberry, sugar, Lemon, dewdrop, slug slime, and finally, frog burp. And now, the magic words sugar and spice, glug, 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 burp of a frog, slime of a slug. It's going to taste horrible. No, Ben. Remember, it's a potion to rub on the feet, not to drink. Nobody would drink this. Oh, my! That is bad! <gasps> uh, that did taste disgusting! Daddy! You shouldn't have drunk it. <gasps> you should have rubbed it on your feet. What? I wonder what will happen now. Let's see what the book says. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, dear. What is it? Silly me. It's not a recipe for cold medicine after all. It's a cure for baldness. <gasps> <gasps> but I must say, Your Majesty... Long hair really does suit you. <laughs> Nanny Plum, I think my cold has gone. Hooray! Achoo! <coughs> oh, I seem to have caught the king's cold. Oh, poor Nanny Plum. Now I'm going to take personal charge of getting you better. <laughs> Can, Can we, we help, help too? too? 
Of course you can. The more, the merrier. <laughs> uh, uh, please, that's not necessary, Your Majesty. Oh, but it is. Achoo! You could make tasty cakes. I'm warning you. Or get some new clothes. If you change one more thing. A bit of makeup. I'm sorry I had to freeze Nanny Plum. She was very rude to me. I don't think Nanny meant to be rude, Mrs Witch. Maybe not, but she was. Are you going to keep Nanny frozen forever? No. If Nanny says sorry, she can go. Nanny, say sorry to Mrs Witch. I will not say sorry. I was only trying to help you out, you grumpy old witch. Oh. So, you won't let Nanny go? Nope. We should get help. Uh, is it all right if we go, Mrs Witch? Of course. You have both been delightful company. What's your plan? We have to get the king. Yes. Daddy can tell the witch off. Then she'll let Nanny go. Bye-bye. Uh, bye. Thank you very much for having us. Yes, thank you, Mrs Witch. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Quick, run. like a statue. Oh, dear. Daddy, if we don't do something, the nanny will stay frozen forever. Hmm. We'll never see nanny again. How sad. And there'll be no more lovely dinners. No dinners? What? Thistle. Help! Wow, they've made King Thistle really small. Daisy, Poppy... That wasn't funny or clever. Little, 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 little. <laughs> ah, they've made us little. Don't worry. I'll magic us back to normal size. I just need my wand. <coughs> my wand's too heavy. I can't lift it. Maybe we should call Nanny Plum. Good idea, Ben. I'll ring the bell. Da da dum, do da di da, da la la di da 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 da. We need to pull harder. Di da di. Oh, I wonder what they want. <sighs> Typical. They ring for me and then they wander off somewhere. Nanny Plum. Eh? We're here. You're so tiny. Um, Daisy and Poppy did a spell on us. Honestly, it's not hard to look after Daisy and Poppy. You just have to play with them. We tried that, Nanny Plum, but it went a bit wrong. What Daisy and Poppy like most is their baby Dolly. Now, where is it? Boo! Oh, Daisy and Poppy. Where have you put your baby Dolly? Baby Dolly! Dolly. Hello, I'm Baby Plum. Baby Plum, it's lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. <laughs> oh no, they've changed Nanny into a doll. Baby Plum, it's lots of fun. Feed me, please. <laughs> what are we going to do? We need to get help. Let's call my mum. She'll know what to do. Good thinking, Ben! <gasps> this is heavy! Ben, is that you? <coughs> Easy now. Don't fly away. <coughs> Hooray! Now, we just have to get Ben turned back into Ben again. 
I've got a very good idea. If we both do a spell together... Yes, that would be fun. Abraka Zabadi. Oh, that was disgusting. I was a little bird and I was eating worms. Oh, I don't think our spell is quite finished. Ben's turned into a rabbit. Ah, oh, now he'll hop off somewhere and we'll have to find him all over again. <sighs> We're not having a good day. What about poor Ben? Goodness me, Holly. I've been looking everywhere for you. Sorry, Nanny. But Ben kept wandering off and we had to keep finding him. I see. So where's this frog that needs to be turned back into Ben? Uh, here. But that's a rabbit. Ben was a frog, then a bird, and now he's turned himself into a rabbit. We've tried everything. Well, it just shows that you both need a lot more spell practice. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Fairies of your age really should be able to get a simple spell right. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Watch and learn. When you turned Ben into a frog, Abracazobadi, you should not have turned him into a bird. Zabadi Z. And certainly not into a rabbit. Abracazabadi. No, at the start, you should have made him Ben again. Abracazobadi Zabadi Z. Hooray! Don't panic yet, but this might be an alien invasion. Ah! Alien invasion! Alien invasion! Everyone, please panic! Bleep, bloop, bleep, bleep! <laughs> it's the friendly aliens we met on the moon! Bleep, bloop, bleep! Hello, aliens! Bleep, bleep! Bloop, bloop! Bleep, bleep, bloop! Oh, look! They've got a baby alien! I am not baby! Whoops! Sorry, but you're so sweet and ickle. I am oldest one here. We get smaller as we get older. Oh, we get bigger as we get older. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Zyros. Take me to your leader. Uh, King Thistle is our leader. Ah, Thistle King. So, you are leader. Well, the wise old elf is also a leader. In a way. Oh, no, Your Majesty. You are our king and leader. Yes. We come in peace. Phew. We are here on holidays. Have you come far? We come from planet Bong. Ooh. But our spaceship is crashed. Oh, dear. You, Thistle King, must fix it. Me? Yes. As leader, you are clever and wise. Uh, yes. Of course I'm clever and wise. Hmm. <sniffs> Doesn't sound good. It is broken. Maybe I should take a look, Your Majesty. Good idea. Elves are good at fixing flying saucers. And I'm an elf. <coughs> Let's see. Does the engine use clockwork or batteries? Oh. It's so colourful and pretty. It's a mass of pipes, tubes and incredibly complicated... <gasps> I don't need to know the little details. Just fix it. What a great and clever leader. Yes, we're very lucky. Hmm, this is going to take some time. The elf plumber is here, Your Majesty. That was quick. Good day. But that's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know, I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a fully qualified plumber. Oh, good. Can you fix our tap? Yes. This is bad. Who put this tap in for you? You did. Ah, very good workmanship. You haven't been turning it on and off, have you? A bit, yes. When we use the bath. Ah, well, that's the trouble then. I was going to fix it with magic. No, you must never mix magic and plumbing. Well, can you mend it? Yes. Watch a master plumber at work. And that 
is how you fix a tap. Amazing! Oh, dear. Can't you just kick it again? Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho! A nice idea, Your Majesty. But I didn't take three years of plumbing school to just kick things. That pipe will have to come out. The whole pipe? I'm afraid so. It'll need digging out. Fine. Do whatever it takes. Just get it fixed. Um, this might be a good time to get out of the bath, Your Majesty. Oh, righto. Everyone stand clear. Hello? Darling sister, how are you? It's my sister, Queen Marigold. Oh, no! Great news. We've just had our castle rebuilt and we want you to come and see it. They want us to go and see their rebuilt castle. Oh, no! A visit to the snooty marigolds. Do we have to go? I'll handle this. King Thistle speaking. I hear you've had your castle rebuilt. Oh, it's very modern. Hello, Lucy. Hello. Who are you? <laughs> Lucy, it's us. Ben and Holly. Oh, yes. But you're so big. I made us big with a spell. Wow, that's great. I'm here with my friends, Katie and Yasmin. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to meet them? But big people aren't meant to know about little people like us. But I know about you. You're special. Don't worry, you look just like big people. They'll never know. OK, but we mustn't tell them any of our elf and fairy secrets. <laughs> Hello. These are my friends, Ben and Holly. I'm Yasmin. And I'm Katie. I like your fairy outfit. Thanks. Where do you live? In a fairy castle. You live in a fairy castle? Holly! Uh, I mean, I live in a house. Where do you live, Ben? I live in a tree. A tree? I mean, a block of flats. We call it the tree. I live in a block of flats too, but we call it... A block of flats. I like your elf costume, especially the ears. Are you going to a fancy dress party? Uh. Come on, everyone. Let's play catch. Katie, catch! <laughs> to you, Yasmin. <laughs> to you, Ben. Oh, I threw it too far. Don't worry. I've got it. You can run really fast. And jump really high. That's because I'm an elf. Uh, ben. I mean, that's because I keep fit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Holly, can you run fast? No, but I can fly. Holly, remember, you can't really fly. Oh, yes. I can do magic. Ooh, magic. I like magic tricks. Show us a trick, then. Are you sure you can do magic, Holly? Of course. Are you really sure? Yes. Let's play princesses, knights and naughty witches. Yes. I'll be the princess because I am a princess. And I'll be the brave knight. OK. Wow, real armour. And I'll be the naughty witch. <laughs> what do we do now? The brave knight has to rescue the princess from a tower. What tower? Ha <laughs> ha! This tower! Whoa! <laughs> wow! How am I going to rescue you from that? In the stories, the princess grows her hair really long and the knight climbs up it. Oh, yes! Ooh! Climb up that hair, Ben! <laughs> Easy! Elves are good at climbing up hair and I'm an elf! <laughs> Here I am! I've come to rescue you! Thank you, brave knight! <laughs> <laughs> but now you're both trapped! 
<laughs> oh. We can easily get down. Not if I put bars on the window. Oh, we're stuck. Ha 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 ha. Flo, lunchtime. Oh, that's my mum. I've got to go. Bye. OK, bye, Flo. How are we going to get down? Don't worry. I've got my Wise One 3000. You're my best friend. OK, let's get out of here. I love you. Oh, it didn't work. I love you. It's not doing anything. What happened the last time you used it? Nothing. I haven't done any magic with it yet. I love you. It's useless. I wish I had my old wand. You'll need these. What are they? Parachutes. Parachutes? Cool. Yes. I can't land the elf plane in the jungle, so you'll be parachuting in. How will we find Redbeard in the jungle? Gaston will sniff him out. <laughs> Gaston can smell anyone from miles away. Redbeard does have a strong smell. Yes, a bit like cheesy socks. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone. Time to go. Wind the engine. Righty ho. Airplane ready for takeoff. Oh, we've only just got going. The jungle is on the other side of the world. <laughs> oh. Gaston can smell Redbeard. Already? <laughs> we can't be at the jungle yet. Gaston's nose is never wrong. <laughs> then it is time to jump. Everybody ready? was right. This is the jungle. Good. Now to find Redbeard. Gaston, find Redbeard. Remember, he smells like old socks. <laughs> Good boy. This way. Ooh, look at that statue. Hmm, some kind of ancient god, I suppose. We must be getting close to the lost city. Look at this crazy orange plant. Ah, yes. The proper name is Heliconia jacquinii. And... This is the coral reef. Amazing! Yes, it's all so pretty. Do you think we'll bump into anyone else down here? In the middle of a vast ocean? We're not going to bump into anyone. Ah, watch where you're going. Oh, I'm most terribly sorry. I didn't see you there. Well, I am here, and I'm not pleased to be bumped into. Not pleased at all. It's Captain Squid, the pirate. Yes, it is I, Captain Squid, and I'm here burying the treasure. Burying your treasure? At the bottom of the ocean? The thing is, every place I bury my treasure, it gets found. So I thought, if I bury it at the bottom of the ocean, where no people ever visit, maybe, just maybe, my treasure might stay hidden. It's not too much to ask, is it? Well, we're very sorry to disturb you. We'll be on our way. Yes, be off with you. Get your own ocean to swim in. Uh, hang on a moment. There is, uh, something you could help me with. What's that? It's a bit embarrassing, but uh, I haven't got a boat to sail home in. Can I have a lift? What happened to your boat? It got eaten by a big fish. Barry! Barry's here! The fish that ate my boat had big eyes. That's Barry. And a big mouth. That's Barry! And eight legs. That's not Barry. A fish with eight legs? Yes, it's a giant octopus, and it's swimming towards your boat. I have to warn Mrs Elf. And then Squire Trevelyan said, Here is the great secret I must tell you. The person I truly love is... 
Yes, this had better be important. Yes, uh, don't panic, but there is something swimming towards you. Oh, yes, what sort of a something? Uh, a sort of hungry giant octopus with eight legs something. Oh, yes, I see it. What should I do? Would you mind telling it not to eat my boat? Now, listen here, Mr Octopus. This boat is not for eating. What's happening? The octopus seems to be eating your boat. Snail poo. It's all smelly and squelchy. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Excellent. And now you must all wash your hands. <laughs> Next, it's grooming. What's grooming? Cleaning and polishing. Everyone take a brush and give the shells a jolly good scrub. Will groom speedy. <laughs> Easy now. Easy now. We just want to polish your shell. Whoa, steady boy. He's a bit frisky, this one. Good boy. Bobby's looking very nice. So is Dobbin. <laughs> Look at Lappin. He's so shiny. Excellent job. Lovely. Well done. Now, before we ride the blighters, they need some nosh. What's nosh? Food. Everybody take some vegetables and hold them out for the snails. Here's a carrot, Robin Hood. Here you go, Bobby. A lovely cabbage leaf. They like fresh vegetables. They're so hungry. Oh, yes. They'd eat all day if you let them. <laughs> now, time for the riding. Everybody choose a snail. Oh, can I ride Bobby, please? Yes. <laughs> I'm on a snail. I'll ride Robin Hood. <laughs> I'll ride Muffin. All right, Speedy. Ah, the thing is, Speedy hasn't been broken in yet. What do you mean? I mean, no one has ever ridden him. He's too frisky. <laughs> yes, he's a young one, full of beans, you know. Can I be the first to ride Speedy today? You can have a go, but you need to get on his back. Look, Barry's found the mermaid. Wow, a mermaid palace. This must be where Oceana lives. Diving suits on, everybody. Nice, Barry. Uh, we're friends of your brother. Yes, they're with me. She's over there, being sad. <laughs> Oceana, we brought your mirror back. Oh, thank you so much. But why is it so tiny? We had to shrink it down to fit in the submarine. Don't worry, the spell will wear off soon and it'll grow big again. <laughs> there you go. My mirror. Thank you all so much. You're very welcome. Well, it's been... Uh... Very interesting meeting you, uh, mermaids, but we must be getting back now. Bye, Oceana. Bye, everyone. Bye, Barry. <laughs> um, you know how the mirror suddenly got big again? Well, that happened to me and my dad. Yep, and the fun bit is, you don't know when. Which means we should get a move on. We don't want them to grow big in the submarine. Ooh, I'm growing! Yeah, so am I. We must get to land. Full speed ahead. Almost there, almost there. Try not to roll too much. <laughs> to panic. We had plenty of time. What an adventure! Yes, it was quite amazing. <laughs> <laughs>
Remember, Lucy's dad, the little kingdom is meant to be secret. <laughs> I have always wanted to know what it would be like to live in the Stone Age. Oh, dear. I suppose it was never going to last. All they've left is her shoes. Daisy, Poppy, where have you sent Mrs Fotheringill? Stone, Stone Age. Age. <gasps> they've sent Mrs Fotheringill back to the Stone Age. That was a very naughty thing to do. Bring Mrs Fotheringill back right now. <sighs> OK. <laughs> oh! On second thoughts, you don't want to know what it was like to live in the Stone Age. Oh, my shoes! It's good to have them back. Right. Next room, ancient Egypt. Ooh. Look, here's a model showing how a pyramid was built. It's quite small. Were the ancient Egyptians the size of elves and fairies? No, the ancient Egyptians were big people. And the pyramids are huge. But they wouldn't be able to fit a full-sized pyramid into the museum. Big. That's right, Daisy. Think how big a real pyramid would be. Here we go again. Use your imagination. Big. Ah, oh, no, stop, stop it. Right home. What's going on here? Big people are coming! What's in there? Everyone, pretend to be toys! And what are these little toys doing here? Hello? Uh, hello? Frog time! <laughs> well done, Tarquin. Like they always say, when things are not going quite right, turn them into a frog! That doesn't even rhyme. And turning people into frogs is not a good way to do things. Why not? He'll turn back to a person in a moment and he won't remember a thing. We'd better get out of here before he turns back again. Yes, on with the tour. Oh, my goodness, that was all a bit of an adventure. What we need now is something a little less dangerous. I'm ready. Mummy, you look super. Uh, yes, you look lovely. Right, let's go eat. I'll just ask the mirror what it thinks. Mirror, mirror, on the wall, how does my hair look now? Honestly, not good. Oh, dear, I don't know what to do. Let me help. I am a magic mirror after all. Oh! There you go, sorted. That's horrid. Change my hair back. No, it looks great. King Thistle! Do something! Nobody will notice your hair. Come on, let's go to dinner. No, no, I can't go out like this. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to get a snack. Now then, what would be a lovely, tasty snack? Aha! Why does Nanny always put the best stuff at the back of the cupboard? Mmm, jam. What on earth is that awful racket? King Thistle! King Thistle! I wished for a big party and now I can't stop dancing! Oh, really? It was a genie from the witch's old lamp! Please help us, King Thistle! Witch's magic, eh? I can't help! Fairy magic doesn't work on witch's magic! Sorry and all that! Ah! Why so elf? What are you doing up there? This witch's carpet just flew me off to a tropical paradise. Ah! Well, just keep the noise down. There's a good fellow. My hair! My hair! The mirror has made it even worse. I don't think I can stand much more dancing. How do I stop this thing? Well, if you will all play around with witch's magic. <laughs> <sighs> That's the most disgusting thing I've ever... Uh, Daddy, where did you get that jam? From the back of Nanny's cupboard. <gasps> You've just eaten the witch's slug jam. And it's a bit worse than that. It's magic slug jam. Oh, no! What's going to happen to me now? Um, you might change into a <laughs> slug. This is outrageous! Hi, everyone. Hello, Holly. Morning, Ben. Ah, why are there 
two hollies. Daisy and Poppy did a spell on me. We asked them not to, but they did it anyway. This is what happens when Daisy and Poppy do magic. So, it's a little doubling spell. No harm done. It's not like there's ten hollies. Morning! 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 And if there were, wouldn't that be nice? Wandy, Wandy. Where did they get the wand from? Oh, it seems to be my wand. Bye-bye. <laughs> They've disappeared. The twins have escaped. <laughs> <laughs> They're out in the wild. Sound the Daisy and Poppy alarm. Oh, this is all a big fuss over nothing. Oh, yes. The twins are out there somewhere and they've got your wand. What other spells did you teach them? Ah, uh, I did mention something about walking trees. Tree go walkies. Walkies. Daddy, trees are walking towards the little castle. I don't want to hear it. It's like a bad dream. I suppose this is your doing, Nanny Plum. No, it was Granny Thistle. Hello there. Granny Thistle, I might have known. It's been a long time, Cedric. Not long enough, Millicent. You always were a troublemaker. Yes, Mother, you started this. Now you have to sort it out. OK, you're the boss. I just think children should have a bit of fun, that's all. There's good fun and bad fun. This is bad fun. <laughs> My goodness, Daisy and Poppy, you're a long way from home. Bunny Rabbit! Come to Fox Cubs, everybody. I'm the new leader. Hello, Hello Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum! Don't call me Nanny Plum. I'm Fluffy Owl, to wit to woo. Hello, Fluffy Owl. To it, to it. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Hello, Nanny Plum. What are you doing here? I'm the new Fox Cub leader. You have to call me Fluffy Owl. To it, to woo. Oh, hello, Fluffy Owl. You have to say the to it, to woo bit as well. Ta wit, ta woo. You're just in time for the badges. Oh, is someone getting a badge? Ben, you're going to have so much fun getting your badges. Dad, what badges did you get when you were a fox cub? I got an adventure badge, a sailing badge and a knots badge. A knots badge? Yes. After days and days of tying knot after knot, I finally got my knots badge. It was hard work, but worth it. Who wants a badge? Eh? Everyone step forward and tell me what badge you'd like. You first, Rosie. Can I have an adventure badge, please? One adventure badge. But, but... Can I have a sailing badge? Of course. One sailing badge. Strawberry, what would you like? A knots badge, please. Here you go. Stop it. Stop it at once. You don't just hand out badges. Why not? You have to earn your badges. To get my adventure badge, I had to spend three days camping in the wild. Well, I watched a whole night of TV for my watching TV badge. Watching TV badge? That's not what the fox cubs are about. The fox cubs are about having adventures in the wild. Adventures do sound like fun. We like adventures. Mr Elf, can we have an adventure in the wild? Well, it's not up to me. It's up to Fluffy Owl. Oh, very well. Follow me, everyone. OK, here we are, having an adventure. What do we do? Well, imagine we had to look for food. Until the test is finished, I am not Mrs Elf. I am Mrs Examiner. Yes, Mrs, Mrs. Examiner. Lift up these pebbles, please. Move them forwards. This is hard. Yes. Now backwards. When I clap my hands, stop. Excellent. 
And finally, one simple question. Magic must only be used for serious things or just for fun? Um, uh, is the answer. Magic must only be used for serious things. Correct. You've all passed the magic test. Hooray! And I'm Mrs Elf again. You may now hug me. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, everyone. Here are your licenses, signed by me, the Chief Examiner. I knew they'd pass because I taught them. That makes their success even more amazing. Thank you, wise old elf. Perhaps we should have a little celebration. Oh, yes. Can we have a party? And what every party needs is magic jelly. Uh, Nanny, I don't think that's such magic a... Magic jelly. Lots and lots. Daisy, used a bit too much magic there. Nanny Palum, do you even have a magic license? Of course I do. Oh dear, it's expired. What does that mean? It means it's worthless. Can't I do magic then? No, it's against the law. No grown up fairy can do magic without a license. What? I'm taking away your wand. You can't do that. I just did. It's an outrage. The king will be very angry. <laughs> everyone. Hi, Ben. I'm not Ben. Yes, you are. Ben is my usual name. But when I put on my superhero costume, I become Elfman. What does Elf Boy do? Elfman. He can run and jump and fly. That's not flying. This is flying. Uh, but I can fly in the Elfmobile. <coughs> bow, bow, bow. But that's just Gaston. No, it's the Elfmobile. <laughs> the Elfmobile can go on land, sea or air. Ooh. We can be superheroes too. Yes. yes. I'll be Fairy Girl. I'll be Captain Crazy. I'll be the strongest boy in the world. And we can all do nice things and help people. Hang on, we can't all be goodies. Someone has to be the baddie. The what? You know, a supervillain. Can I be the supervillain? OK, Strawberry. Do I help people too? No, you have to try and take over the world. The whole world? Well, maybe we should just start with the little kingdom. And I'll try and stop you. OK. I will be the Ice Queen. Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry Ice Cream? Ice Queen, not cream. Oh. Super villains always have a gang. We'll be the gang. So, it will be Elf Man and Fairy Girl against Strawberry Ice Queen and her gang. <laughs> the goodies will win. The baddies will win. No, the goodies will win. To the Elfmobile. Come on, Fairy Girl. Do your worst, Ice Queen. OK, Fairy Girl. Bye. I'm the Ice Queen, so maybe I should make it a bit cold. <laughs> It's chilly! Yes, that's because I'm the Ice Queen. You must look like a fairy. Two fairy wings held on with elastic, a toy wand and a hat to cover your elf ears. But won't the fairies know it's Barnaby? No, they won't. I've got a disguise. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I've just moved into the neighbourhood. I'm a fairy. What's your name? It's Barnaby. Oh, no. It's a uh, bamboo. I'm a fairy. Uh, oops. Um, I mean, uh, I'm a fairy. Well, come in. Say hello to bamboo, everyone. Hello, bamboo. Look. We're building a Viking boat. The elves are building one too, but ours is 
bigger. Ooh! You don't say much, do you, Bamboo? No. Um, I'm a fairy. Ah. Oops, I mean... Bamboo, do I know you from somewhere? No. Well, I'd better be going. It was nice to meet you. Bye! Mission accomplished. I found out all about the fairy's Viking boat. What's it like? It's big, bigger than ours. Then we'll start again. We'll make the biggest Viking boat ever. Yes, wise old elf. You weren't discovered, were you, Barnaby? No, they never suspected. I know where I've seen Bamboo before. He was Barnaby in disguise. <gasps> The elves are spying on us. That's outrageous. But didn't we spy on them? That was different. We thought of spying first. So now the elves know all about our boat. Fine. We'll just find out more about theirs. Strawberry, you can be our spy. All right. You need to look like an elf. Bye-bye, wings. Hello, ears. She still looks a lot like Strawberry, though. Hmm, yes. Let's add a disguise. Perfect! Well, your jam smells quite nice. See? I've lost my touch. Which jam is supposed to be horrible? Don't worry. We'll help you make it horrible. <laughs> what if you put in some snail slime? Snail slime? Yes, that could do it. And some worm poo? Yes, that would make it taste awful. You see? You can win. Now let's tackle the broomstick riding. I haven't ridden my broom in years. It's forgotten all its training. <laughs> yeah, boy. Good broom. Oh, come here, you silly old stick. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's try spells. Mrs Witch, you did the fastest spells in the West. Right, Mrs Witch. Turn these cans into frogs. <laughs> I'm trying. But I can't do it. I'm afraid she's past it. Past it? She can't even turn a can into a frog. She might have been good at magic once, but now she's a bit of a has-been. Has-been? I'll show you. <gasps> Mrs Witch, you turned Nanny into a frog. That's because Nanny got me annoyed. <laughs> Oof. If you can do magic like that in the competition, you'll be fine. So just remember to get cross with Wendy Witch. But she's so friendly and nice. It's your only chance to win. OK, I'll try to be cross. It's high noon. Let the witch competition begin. First, jam making. Why are they all staring at me? You're the judge, darling. They're waiting for you to taste the witch's jam. Oh, what's in it? Slug, mostly, with a hint of bat and spider eggs for crunch. Ew! That's the most disgusting thing I've ever tasted. Thank you. 